Jupe. Do you have a second? Your last college game, you just scored a career high 36 points in a losing effort against what everyone has been saying is... The team of the century. It's gotta be bittersweet. No one gave you a chance, and you almost pulled off the upset of all time. What are your emotions right now, Duke? You know, I miss the shot. This is my family. And I, uh, I let him down. And that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Saw so your indictment tonight. Those were grown men. Good players. Season. A couple of them played D1. Held your own. That's the real game, right? Outside the gym. You follow me out here? Let's just say that I'm in the city a lot, and we just happen to be there at the same time. <laughs> you can play. Your footwork and floor spacing needs a bit of cleanup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you I'm a football player. Yeah, you're a senior now. And I told you I am a football How many D1 player? football offers you got so far? Committed, plays the game the right way. You're a great player. But great isn't special. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, coach. That's a pitch. Trash. Get in his not a pitch. It's still open. Stoudemire. Duncan didn't play organized ball until they were 14. Steve Francis was 16. Giannis was playing soccer until someone wised up, probably gave him the same speech. And now he's an MVP. Okay, so what, coach? I mean, I'm not just some charity case you want to help out? What's in it for you? Wins. I have a lot of good kids. And it's special. Not special. Your natural ability is, yes. basketball here. It starts all over. Those questions. It becomes about him again. It's never been just me. It's always been us. You stop running and take him on. When we first met, you told me how you loved you, bled you were. You wanted to be part of a big world. This is how you get it. Maybe football is your game. I mean, you play like you're trying to run your head through a brick wall. <laughs> nah, this game ain't for you. This game's all about nuance. Subtlety, son. Paul Frazier, Bill Russell, MJ. Hey, what about LeBron? He was a football player. You ever seen that man pass? That's the beautiful game right there. Yo, Duke, great to see you on the court again, baby. Yo, we saw you win state. Brick City for real, son. Thank you, appreciate y'all. See that, son, right there? That's what I'm about. What are you about? Hey, you D. What's good? is a rebirth. We are only as strong as our belief in each other. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right, let's go now, Breeden. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I said it. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Eagles. Eagles. Junior, just a second. No pressure here. All you gotta do is be better than me in my first game. Yeah. All right, so what happened? 
Just aim for more points than turnovers. Fine, and you'll do fine. This is your moment. I enjoy it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this broadcast of Garden State IAA Basketball. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. We can't wait to get another season rolling, and we look to get a great matchup to kick things off. Well, a classic matchup with the Newark East Eagles playing host to the Burton Hornets. Both teams looking to improve on their final positions from last year. A win tonight would be a great step towards that goal. Bobby Erickson leads the way for the Hornets. They go against an Eagles team with quite a few new faces. Still though, Newark is led by senior KJ Day. And the crowd will be a factor here for the Eagles. This is the type of atmosphere you love to see at the high school level. Well, with the new season underway, here is how the Eagles are gonna look. You have the team captain at the point, KJ Day. On the wings, it's gonna be Sheffield and Lack. Zadirka will play power forward, and the new addition of Junior gets the start in the middle. And the Hornets come in with their usual lineup. Luan and Dermanenko are in the backcourt. Star forward Bobby Erickson begins the game at the three. Ramadas and Aslanoglu fill out the four and five spots. And with Junior, you don't want to only talk about who his father is, but it's a shadow he'll be under as long as he's on the hardwood. It might be the reason why Junior didn't immediately take to basketball as a sport but the similarities in their games are already apparent. Junior looks to be just as talented as his dad was, even if he's a bit raw. Now here's Erickson, defended by Lack. The Eagles now on offense. Down low. Junior again. High IQ basketball from Sheffield. He gets himself an easy assist by feeding the wide open man. They're having trouble creating any kind of offense. And you can really sense them tightening up a little bit at this point. And it's Ramadas missing. That's too easy a chance to miss. He needs to be more aggressive on his finishes. He's getting his first free throw attempts of the night now. Shooting two. The first one falls. Well, coming into this season, Coach Bishop a bit on the hot seat. Eagles fans want to see a better finish than years past. And that might have been a reason Coach Bishop tried to shake things up by bringing in some new faces. Not much to lose as he's in dire need of a great season. First minute and a half of basketball play to here in this one. Outside Levesque, the three from Bobby Erickson. Chatfield with the rebound. After the first three misses, I thought they'd get one here, but they still can't get in. And Dave Zadirko throws it down. They're off to a scorching start offensively. They've taken this game by the reins and are running out to an early lead. And the basket by Levesque. That took some time, but they get one to go. Maybe they're warmed up now. Now the Eagles with it. They're leading by eight. Pass to Day with plenty of space. Yes, and it's Junior picking up the dime. A great start here. Five buckets without a miss. Erickson with it. Shoots a three. That one's off. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Black, Erickson defending. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. They're in a terrific groove. And credit it to their outstanding passing, putting a ton of pressure on the defense. Basket counts. Well, Coach Bishop wanted a strong post presence this year. This team got exactly that with the addition of Junior. You want strength and athleticism? That's what you get with Junior. Easily their most intimidating center on the roster, despite not having a lot of experience on the court. And he almost got to the shot in time. Close, but not quite. He can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Michael Kennedy. Dan Indra. And in this first quarter, about three minutes gone by. Now 
Now here's Luan, the D right on him. Stolen by Lack, all by himself. Plays it in off the break. Their passing right now is on another level. Sweet, the last five buckets all off of assist. Teamwork at the offensive end. Outside James. Back to Carter, pass to Porter. Luan. Pulls up. Junior grabs the miss. Confident play we're seeing out of them right now. Yep, the scoreboard tells the story, that's for sure. And that one, good. And Drake, how good has their passing been? It's been terrific, honestly. They're playing for each other right now, and that's why their offense is humming along. And the Hornets and their roster, they aren't scared to play small if they need to. Looking at the rest of the division, the Hornets are one of the smaller teams overall. They just don't have that many big bodies in the program, but they know how to make up for it with defensive rotations. Don't be fooled. This team is still deadly, albeit a tad undersized. Back to Indra. Yes, and it's Junior picking up the assist. They've really built themselves an impressive lead in the opening minutes. Yeah, solid defense paired with an aggressive offense. They just keep gaining ground. Pass to Luan. Over Indra. The offensive rebound. That one drops for him. Work hard on the offensive glass. Good things happen. Junior left side. Mason covered by Ramadas. Burton with the ball. They trail by 14. Bradley James on the wing. With four on the clock. And it's going to be two free throws through the contact on the shot. These are his first free throws of the game. First And he knocks down the first one. At the line for two. The three from Christian Sheffield. And that's out of bounds. Newark East will retain possession. Here's Junior. He's got 10. Day. Nails the three-pointer. Well, you have to love the charm of the Newark East gym. The facility might not be top of the line, but it has a lot of history for the Eagles. And there have been talks about getting a new gym built on campus, but that's something that's a decade away on the school board's agenda. As you said, this gym just fits with the legacy of the Newark East Eagles. Here's Erickson. Too long on the shot attempt. This is a day that he'd like to just forget about. Just hasn't had the energy to get it done out there, and still without a point. This is the trust Junior's teammates have in him. They know he's capable of finishing off alley-oops. Dermanenko outside. Levesque pass to Porter. The kick out to Ramados. Dermanenko outside, tipped. Fast break, here we go. And the Eagles tack on two more. And it seems like every time they get a score, it comes off a great pass. Well, Drake, they've done a great job of moving the ball around and not letting the offense get stagnant. Now Levesque. Back to Dermanenko. And the shot goes in. Dermanenko taking what he sees on the offensive end of the floor. Nice job capitalizing from this area. Junior inside, Porter defending. He camped in the lane there and gets the three-second call. Coming off the floor for your Eagles, Dan Indra. And you look at the play style of Bobby Erickson, very much a modern wing who can play off the ball or initiate things for this offense as well. And Erickson might be lined up out on the wing, but he'll do pretty much everything you ask of him in this offense. Coach figured out very quickly this team is at its best when Erickson has the ball in his hands. Count that bucket. You gotta be better on the glass. Second chance points can come back to haunt you. 
Yeah, they need to show more effort when they're rebounding the rock because that that's inexcusable. Outside, Indra. And he's going for the hoop here. And here's the break. The three from Bobby Erickson. Love the fight there from the big fella. Muscles his way to that board. So as we conclude the first half of play, a fairly one-sided affair thus far. Eagles ahead, up by 16. And as we pause for halftime, don't go anywhere. We'll be back for the third. second half of play, getting going. Newark East Eagles with a big lead after two quarters of play. Here's Dermanenko. Pass to Erickson. Levesque up top. Here's Porter. Erickson defended by Lack. Right side Erickson. And Dave Zadirko with the block. The work ethic of Zadirko on display. Great job hustling and timing the block just right. And with this huge lead for the Newark East Eagles, they've come out and set the tone they really want to set for the rest of the season. Coach Bishop talked about a season of change. A game like that illustrates exactly what the school is after. Strong showing from the Eagles as they look to have this one wrapped up. Returns it to Erickson. Pass to Porter. The Burton's ball as it goes out of bounds. Hornets able to keep the ball here. Doug Evans. Michael Kennedy. Substitution on the board. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. The three from Bobby Erickson. They're having their way. In rebounds and on the scoreboard, piling up the numbers. Here's Evans, and count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Outstanding. Evans wins the end one opportunity. I don't even think the defender anticipated how resilient he could be. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. <laughs> On the board. Outside James. Outside Luan. Pass to Porter. But they recover it. And here's Ramadas. He's covered by Mason. Well, seeing Junior out there, you can't help but think of his legendary father, Duke. One of the biggest names in the area. They're creating some separation on the scorecard now. A nice cushion, and they're not even taking their foot off the gas. About seven seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Luan, guarded by Day. Pass to James. Takes the 13-footer, and down it goes for two. To the paint, and it's stolen by Porter. Outside, Luan. Through three quarters of play, they're down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. It's the Eagles, up by 16. Don't move a muscle, we'll be back right after this. Currently unavailable. And here at the start of the fourth quarter, the big lead for the Eagles here at home. Now here's Lack. Over James. No good off the back of the rim. Well, the Eagles looking to get some great production from their guard, K.J. Day, this season. Now a senior, he has all the tools to lead the charge and be the spark for this offense. Part of the reason they can extend this lead, they've shot it so well. 
just keep feeding them. Look to put this away in the fourth. And with that, he's impressed as a junior. You just love the way he brings it on both sides of the ball. Absolutely, Joe. Day isn't just a scorer or initiator. He's a pest on the defensive end. Day's versatile enough to fill any role at either guard position when his team has the ball. That's just fantastic timing. He's one tough customer on the offensive glass. It's like he has a sixth sense on those boards. And his might be better than just about anybody. Pass to Day. Launches a three. Carter pulls it in. He hasn't been able to bring much on the offensive side, but they've been able to compensate and keep the lead. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Automatic. That's a layup he'll make 10 times out of 10. A little over a minute into the fourth quarter. Pass to Lack. Returns today. Sheffield. And here is Mason. Now Day. Luan covering. Here's Junior. Good, and the assist goes to KJ Day. And the last few seasons, the Eagles haven't had an easy time finding wins. For a while, it seemed you could always count on the Eagles to be at the top of this conference. That hasn't been the case lately. Hopefully, Coach Bishop has found the talent he needs to get his program back to the top. Substitution on the board. Now a little over a minute and a half gone by here in the fourth. Outside Levesque. Here's Erickson. Porter to Dierko covering from 10 feet out. It's hauled in by the Eagles. They led as much as 20. Pass to Junior. Sheffield with the ball. He's guarded by Dermanenko. Chalk up two right there. Junior has been playing at the next level today. Hopefully there are some scouts in the crowd to witness it. Dermanenko outside. Fourth quarter of play and we're about two and a half minutes through now. Returns it to Erickson. The Hornets again can't hit it. Some of the shots that he's taken have been head scratchers. He's out there playing like it is a game of horse. No doubt the star of this Burton squad is Bobby Erickson. He's a gifted scorer and playmaker. And he's been with the Hornets for quite some time now. He's been the star. And with Erickson, guys, you see his release, and you know immediately he's a terrific shooter. He's going to have no problems putting it on the floor as well. That's true. I mean, Erickson plays bigger than he actually is, and that helps him finish on the inside. Colleges have shown a lot of interest in him since his breakout performance his sophomore year. He'll most likely be transitioning to shooting guard when he gets to that next level. Pass to Leftos. Germanenko covered by Kennedy. Outside Erickson. Now Aslana glue. Vlad Dermanenko for three. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Leftos. That's foul number two for him. Substitution on the board. Outside, Indra. To the inside. Here's Junior. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. This run has really put them in the perfect position. And with no signs of slowing, they aim to keep expanding that lead. Bobby Erickson for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Looking like a younger Devin Booker there. I just love when Erickson goes right up with the shot. Junior inside. It's rebounded by Erickson. And the final horde sounds chalk one up for the Eagles. They get the win here at home and a fantastic start to the season. And the level of skill from the last few years is visibly better for the Eagles. Junior seems to fit right in with the rest of the team. Newark East fans have to be excited about how they look. And the Hornets didn't lose this game. The Eagles won it. To get a win over a talented Burton team says a lot for the future of Newark East this season.
And that'll do it for our broadcast of Garden State IAA Hoops. For Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger, I'm Joe Lamy. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you again for more presentations of high school sports athletics. Whoa. Look, he's got some serious skills. Oh, right there. Oh. You like that? <laughs> Kid, that was something special watching you out there tonight. Yo, wait, wait up. Wait. Man, how you doing, kid? My name is Archie. Archie Baldwin. Dad and I were teammates. Yeah, I think I remember that. Can't remember, though. For sure, I, I was just a little kid when you were still playing ball. Well, he sure loved you. Talked about you all the time. There was a story about a purple jumper. You had to wear this thing every day or you would blue. cry. But nice to meet you, Ar Archie. Archie? Yeah. Nice yeah, to meet look, you. I I'll get right to the point. Upside, off the charts. Strong basketball IQ, high motor, and you understand tempo. It's a package. Easy to sell. Sell? Yeah. So who? Like, scholarship? Exactly. Is that something you think? Something you know you can do? I mean, it's only one game. You show me what you got for the next one, bring me some high numbers, and we'll talk. But for right now, enjoy the moment. You said Archie, right? Archie Baldwin. Hey, UD. What's good, my boy? Mr. 